This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. And it's very fortunate if you can work on just one of these in your career. No phone is very fortunate. It has been able to introduce a few of these in the world. Last year, we introduced three revolutionary products. The first one, a waterproof phone. The second, a battery-free phone. <laughs> the third, a 100% free mobile device. So three things, a waterproof phone, a battery-free device, and a phone that's not addictive. A phone that's waterproof, A phone that has no battery. And a phone that's not addictive. Are you getting it? Yeah. <laughs> These are not three separate devices. This is one device, and we're calling it no phone. It all started on a Friday in August 2014, after having work drinks in a bar in Manhattan, New York. Me, Ingmar, and our friend Van Gold were by the time working at the same advertising agency. And we had a great time socializing. By socializing, we meant stare at our phones and occasionally look up from our screen to order another round of drinks, which is the norm nowadays. We came to a personal conclusion that phone addiction is real. It's all around us, and it's only getting worse. Dates are lit by screens instead of candles. We go to concerts in person and watch them through a sea of screens in front of us. It's disrupting us in movie theaters. It's clogging up our sidewalks. It's ruining our posture everywhere else. And who doesn't recognize these situations of a mom or dad pushing the child on the swing while totally missing out on the child's pleasure as they're glued to the screen? <laughs> or that car driver in early morning traffic checking their timeline or messages at every stop in the traffic jam, causing 25% of all car accidents in the United States? Or that nice family dinner where besides the knife and the fork, the smartphone has become part of the cutlery. Phone addiction has a name. It's called no-mo-phobia. No mobile phone phobia. The fear and anxiety of being out of mobile phone contact. A recent study found that nearly 53% of all mobile phone users in the UK tend to be anxious when they lose their phone, run out of battery or credit, or have no network coverage. The study compared uh, the stress levels activated by the average case of nomophobia to be the same amount of stress you can have when you're getting married or when you're going to the dentist. <laughs> so, we ask ourselves, how can we comment on this new form of behavior if we're addicted ourselves? We check our phones almost 24-7, checking updates before and after going to bed, or while waiting in certain situations, our phones became like the perfect time killer. It all seems rosy in the beginning, but after a while we kind of developed a love-hate relationship with these magic devices. Where, in the digital world, they make us more social, in the real world we're losing our interaction. So, we came up with a satirical placebo to comment on our phone addiction. Introducing the no phone. <laughs> a fake phone for people who are addicted to real phones. <laughs> With a thin, light, and completely wireless design, the no phone acts as a circuit to any smart mobile device, enabling you to always have a piece of cold, smooth plastic to hold without losing any engagement with your direct environment. 
Never again experience the unsettling feeling of flesh on flesh when closing your hand. We created a very simple website showcasing its amazing features. Does it have a camera? <laughs> no, no. Is it Bluetooth compatible? No. Can you make calls with it? No. Is it toilet bowl resistant? Yes. <laughs> to showcase how the Novo works, we made a very simple demo video explaining how to use the Novo. <laughs> then we sent out a press release. To tech media journalists, the first one of the major tech sites in the world started reviewing us as the next big thing, adding us to the list of revolutionary products like the Atari 2600, the PC and the iPhone, and other media followed soon. To a great surprise, within two weeks we received more than 700 emails of people begging for the no phone, people from almost every country in the world. And uh, uh, we couldn't hardly believe it, because our six-second demo video had soon uh, more than half a million views. And we thought to ourselves, maybe we should make this into reality. So our first step was a process of research and development. Just as our tech competitors are continuously innovating, we thought to ourselves that we couldn't stay behind in giving people what they want. So we introduced the no phone selfie upgrade. <laughs> A mirror attached to your no phone so you can enjoy sending selfies to yourself in real time. <laughs> or share selfies with your friends <laughs> if they're standing behind you. Our next step was to test the viability of the concept by putting it on Kickstarter, selling the no phone for $12 each. Beggars started lining up to support us. The only thing was that our goal was too high, so we didn't get it funded. We decided to relaunch a new Kickstarter campaign with a much lower goal. Eventually, we raised over $18,000 for a piece of plastic, which led to another round of amazing pre press reviews and items on national television, gaining more attention toward the topic of smartphone addiction. We manufactured over 2,500 no phones to our 915 backers worldwide before Christmas. And just to make sure people get the idea how to use a no phone, we included the no phone instruction manual. <laughs> At the bar, keep the no phone near you and have a conversation with a human being. Or, at a concert, hold the no phone in your pocket and watch the band through your eyes. <laughs> When people received the no phone, we got a lot of interesting user reviews. Such as, with the no phone, my eye contact skills have improved 73%. <laughs> or now I can eat food without taking photos of it. <laughs> or now I can safely walk through the streets of Rio holding the no phone without being afraid of being robbed of my phone. This journey of developing the no phone and what it meant to the world gave us a lot of fun, as one thing led to the other. Canal Plus in France ordered 100 no phones for their digital detox program. The no phone went on display in an art museum in Germany. And besides selling more than 4,000 no phones through our own web shop, we are happy to announce today that we're also selling them through Amazon, making us the biggest fake phone company in the world. <laughs> Recently, beating the Apple Watch. <laughs> the number two in PC advisors list of most useless gadgets of all time. <laughs> but what we are most proud of is that we are part of a movement of people who want to be more aware of how much time they're spending with their devices rather than with each other. Isn't it, Ingmar? No. There's one more thing. Uh, you may ask yourself, has phone addiction become this crazy, the people buying each other plastic rectangles? Yes. 
That's crazy. But wait until you heard the real benefits of the no, more, no phone. No more neck problems because of extensive smartphone usage. No more smartphones interfering in your love life. No more destruction of our brain capacities and concentration spans because what the internet and smartphone does to our brains. No more risk of testicular or brain cancer caused by smartphone radiation. No more car accidents because of smartphones in traffic. And no more leaking of our private data. This piece is 100% NSA proof. <laughs> and Ben, does the no phone bend? No. <laughs> <laughs> This piece of plastic represents the world that we dream of. A world of no phone, where a mom or dad is pushing the child on the swing, totally enjoying this moment in time. A world of no phone, where each and every family dinner has the potential to end up in a night-long conversation. A world where it's no longer an unnecessary like or swipe that causes a dramatic car accident. We dream of a world of smarter people and dumber phones, instead of a world of dumber people and smarter phones. A world... <laughs> A world where we can stop doing this stuff, shipping pieces of plastic around the world, simply because people don't need a fake phone anymore. We believe that a downgrade of technology will ultimately lead to an upgrade for humanity. This is what we need so desperately. To be living, to regain our lost ability, to be living in a present reality. To say no, to the addiction of always having to be connected, and say yes to the freedom of truly being present. Thank you for listening. Thank you.